What is going on, guys? We are back with another episode in our Nighthawks Relocation Fantasy Draft franchise. It's about to be Week 10 going up against the Vikings. A streak of home games coming up. We just got done winning, which ended our losing streak. Obviously, we're now 3-5. and five. If you didn't see the last week's episode, maybe check it out because we also did have a kind of blockbuster trade for a lineman, which seemed to work out pretty well. Obviously, it did involve our own first-round pick. So that could be a very lucrative trade for them. Uh, obviously, we had a choice between get rid of our own or the Panthers. Both teams on the same kind of record and whatnot, and similar teams uh, were a little bit worse, of course. But uh, it's kind of a tough decision. I'd rather bet on us than against us because then it's like, yeah, you kind of have a win-win situation, but you also have like a, you know, you're not really believing in yourself situation. So I felt like it was a good decision. We'll see, obviously. But, of course, let us go right on to Week 10. See those Minnesota Vikings. Also, you can see Washington is... Oh, they lost their first game. Oh, we got a breakout. Oh, it's purple versus purple. I'm loving it. Uh, at 1 o'clock. No, it's not 1 o'clock. We're in Central Time. We're in Central Standard Time, damn it. Let's see if we have any players of the week. Uh, maybe Tyson Anderson. He had the, the kicker. T That's the wrong thing. Oh, shocker. The 8-1 and one team has the MVP right now. And no, we don't. Brady's on the Chiefs. Trey Lance, Miles Garrett of the Raiders. Okay, I mean, I mean, just maybe us. That'd be cool. Um, okay, did we even win it with Patrick Peterson that time? I don't even know. But, of course, if you're new to the series, maybe you don't know what the roster looks like. And if you don't, maybe leave a like and maybe subscribe. We do a ton of franchise stuff. And this series is kind of getting juicy. It's kind of getting juicy. We're 3-5 and five as well. So, we're not completely out of the playoffs, but... After going 0-17 last season, I mean, it's a lot to hope for. Uh, looking at the squad, it is pretty good. The morale's down a little bit at certain positions, but, you know, at 3-5, there's a chance to turn that around, and obviously we have to go against these 3-5 and five Vikings, so, I mean, one of these teams is going to go 4-5, and five, like, I guess, supposedly, because it could be a tie, I guess. Russell Wilson, that's fun. Of course, a really good quarterback there. Morale's down there as well. Uh, uh, not using Trey Sermon, I suppose technically Damian Harris is a lot better starting-wise. Uh, Justin Jefferson's a Viking, again, at Robert Woods. Pretty good player himself, solid route runner. Kendrick Bourne. I mean, they've got some guys that can catch, I'll tell you what. Uh, looking at the tight end, Tommy Tremble, underrated, but also not the greatest. Uh, Isaiah Wynn is decent. Titus Howard's not great. Billy Price is pretty awful. Wyatt Teller's a problem, and then Taylor Moten is really good, too. John Franklin Myers is a solid player. Trey Hendrickson, they're lacking a little bit on the speed on the D-line, but I suppose it's probably not going to matter against us. Derek Brown's a, a decent player, good at stopping the run. Left out's awful. Linebackers, in general, kind of bad. You know, Greenlaw's okay, but kind of bad. Their corners are aging, but they are very good still. Marcus Williams is solid, and Malcolm Jenkins is solid, but lacking a little bit in the speed department there with Malcolm Jenkins at 84 speed. Maybe Sky Moore's day to shine. Also, we have a breakout player. Let's knock this one out right away. Who is it? Caden Stearns. Of course, he actually has put up some decent weeks here as of recent. 200 pass yards or less. Don't think that's going to happen, but one interception, a forced fumble tackle for a loss or a sack, probably pretty doable. But for this team, uh, surprisingly, really bad in the medium department. They do seem kind of like a possession-y team. So we're going to go with defending the short pass. And then what they do well against is kind of the pass game. They do have some pretty good DBs. they got three solid ones. So we're going to try to run the interior. But are they running a 3-4? Because, I, mean, I, I mean, it's a good threat. But, like, why would he be the guy that you have to worry about in an inside zone if he's on the edge? I don't know, but... Regardless, it might have some upgrade points because we are, once again, a pretty low overall team, so you expect quite a bit of upgrading. And not crazy amounts, but still decent. Of course, Jordan Davis is becoming a pretty decent pass rusher, believe it or not, so we're going to go with power move, and you also get that block shedding. He's an 85 overall block shedder with 80, a 78 overall power move. He's coming along pretty well already. Tutu Atwell is not really a deep threat, but I want some of the abilities you get from deep threat, like release... Not really, but we'll take the uh, the route running, of course. That release, dude, it's so bad. Glass, he's not the starter, obviously. Wouldn't ever rule out him being a starter, so going to see that upgrade, which is, I mean, it's okay, I guess. Baron Browning, who doesn't really play a whole lot, going to get an upgrade. 70 overall now. A couple of guys getting to 70 overall this week. Uh, pretty good upgrade, actually. Man coverage, plus two. And then Jabril, an actual starter. 
It's like, <laughs> like I hate Baron Browning or something. Just like talk crap to him there. Play rec plus four. I mean, that's okay if he's roaming around on his own, but yeah, a little bit of an iffy upgrade. It was a little bit of an overcast. Ironically enough, it's it's actually raining outside in real life, and I have uh, the window open, so you might be able to hear that. Add a little bit of ambiance. It's like, what do you mean real life? This is real life. But of course, we had to show these Vikings who the real purple team is while we're wearing the entire purple uniform set, and they have to wear all white. You get in line, punks. This is our turf. Of course, you got the jets flying over. Hey, there was a little bit of a pocket there. Is this a hurricane? Are we in the eye of the storm? It's like an overcast, except for like a little spot. I suppose it's not always going to be like perfectly cloudy, but it probably should be, right? If it's an overcast. I don't know. It is what it is. At least it's not actually raining. We're trying to actually win games around here, and going against the rain along with our roster talent is not an easy thing to do. Of course, looking at the quarterbacks gotta assume Russell Wilson's having a decent season but the fact that their percentage or pass rating at least which probably leads to success in the medium range is pretty bad it's just really surprising but it is what it is I mean I suppose uh, they're going to show the stats uh, nice yeah it's really good percentages so touchback on the kick and Russell Wilson's coming out let's see these numbers yeah I mean I felt like that was the case Russell Wilson is not playing well here. 12 touchdowns, 8 interceptions. Once again, it is better than Mon. But when you compare a what would assume to be a Hall of Famer to a guy that may be selling shoes next season, I mean, you kind of expect that, right? <laughs> of course, still an X factor, though, as Tyndall tries to find the lane, can't, and oh, that's a huge run. Thankfully, Damon Harris is not super fast because there was a lot of room there. And it's like Caden Stearns throwing the tight end down. Jordan Davis going against Wyatt. I mean, doesn't win, but slows him down. First down, of course. Uh, can we flip the side so Stearns is blitzing? Oh, he almost had it for his try. Of course, Damon Harris, they are really pounding the rock here with him. And they're not showing any signs of slowing. Or I suppose we're not showing any signs of slowing him. As uh, he already is gaining 20 yards on the ground on three carries. And Tyndall, no, we overran it. Oh, my God. Is that Drake Jackson? Uh, hello, guys. This is like a freaking clown show. Is the circus rolling into town? All right, we're coming with the blitz. And, oh, that's a touchdown. That is bad. That's Justin Jefferson, man. Yeah, that guy does what he does. That's harsh. Alrighty, who is that? Is that John Franklin? Does he play interior and is he a superstar? That's kind of harmful to my health. Of course, we gain a yard. We're never good on the ground. Gotta love that. I mean, that kind of puts us in a spot already. T.T. Atwell in the little wiggle. And we're in trouble. Thankfully, it's not grounding. Seeing Cole Turner kind of like peel over. I'm going to be honest, though. I didn't really look at that left side. As soon as I saw... The corner. Ooh, this is looking pretty good for Sky Moore, though. I'm not even, even going to talk about what just happened. That's a tough one. And he just picks that up. Is that just a throw power thing? Oh, what a hit by Tutu, though, on Marcus Williams. I mean, I get it's a bit of a progressor. Let's see this. Is that a throw power thing? Maybe I should throw it here. I did throw it there, actually. Maybe right here. I mean, that does seem to sail a bit, right? Like, that doesn't seem like a bullet pass. Nah, I don't know. It is it is close, in fairness. Mm, not the start we wanted. I don't know, dude. It's it's a tough one. I think we were just so predetermined on it that we, like, didn't want to go away from it. But I will say, it just looked open, though. I don't know. Another pick, though. I'll tell you that. That's something I do know. But what I was trying to say on that second down is, like, the corner went to Tutu's route before he was even, like, there. So I was just like, yeah, I'm going to not do that. Togiai, the outside. And that's a good tackle. I mean, it's going to give us a chance on third and one. Technically third and inches. I'm ready to go for the run commit. I don't care. Stearns! And that would have not only been the breakout, but it would have stopped the first down. Instead, it's a first down. Bringing the heavy front. I mean, we if we can't stop them on this, like there's just no chance to stop the ground at all. Okay. Oh, he's got a chance to run. Mm. 
Nine yard gain for Russell Wilson. Like, I get it's a run stopping front, but like, can we get any push at all in that situation? No? We just get absolutely handled. Tyndall's getting pushed around to the eight yard line. Our uh, our run defense is looking pretty bad. Is that Woolen against the tight end? Nisraldine. And touchdown, Vikings. They are going to review this. It did feel like he was out, but I don't know. I, I think he was in. It felt like he was out. That left foot was questionable. Well, no one cares about your feelings, young man, because it was a touchdown, unfortunately. This has gone by quickly. There's 2-2. Two -two. That's a huge play. A little underthrown, but we'll still turn it into something. 2-2's two a small guy. We don't want him to get hit. First actual completion to the team we want, and it's a gain of about 40. I mean, that's that's the type of team we need to be. Big plays. Claypool. Kind of looking, kind of looking. Claypool. That's good blocking, boys. That's what I like to see. Another huge play. Claypool. I mean, I don't know if he maybe had the jump ball. Once again, I, I think... If we're in a spot where we're just not able to move the ball and we got to take a shot, I, I got to take that at some point to Claypool today, but it was too early for me. And there goes a nice run for Chandler. A gain of five. I thought maybe he was just going to run through for the score. Hawkins. I mean, they have the, the linebackers and the safeties coming up, but they seem like they're off on the edge. And I was right, but oh my. What a play by John. Not John Franklin Myers. It is Derek Brown, actually, who's in the zone. I mean, this kind of seems like a Cole Turner pre-play. Come on, Cole. Yes, they were off. I didn't think... Uh, I thought uh, Malcolm Jenkins was going to get there, but he was he was a bit off on the play. Touchdown, Nighthawks. That comeback, uh, well, secondary comeback route from Claypool, maybe the best blocking play we've seen all season from us. And Stearns kind of came in late. It might have been a freaking late hit. There has been a lot of yards so far. I mean, this is, this is a hell of a start. Not the start we want. I mean, I'll take our, uh, oh, my. There you go, Tyson. We need to force a fumble, man. I don't even know if we force one all season. Definitely not the way I wanted to start, but I suppose we'll take the score back, you know. The, the answer back was still nice to have. As Woolen misses completely. Stearns, I mean, he's, uh, he's a tough fella. The man seems like no matter who he's against, he's just making the play. Let's move the linebackers over. Oh, he went for the bait. Really? Damian Harris's chunky ass got that catch. Sorry, Damian. Please don't hurt me. You're super tanky. <laughs> I meant tanky, not chunky. Sorry. And he missed. Ah, oh, good play, though. We got a, a free play with Cox because of it. I mean, I don't want to force it too hard with Stearns, but, I mean, anytime we get a breakout, I feel like we just need to complete it because we are just so far behind on every other team. It's just so important to complete these. The play action is brutal, by the way. And he, he got it. That's a tackle for a loss, baby. Stearns is a star. Let's go. I was about to say any miss, but he, he actually made it. Nice. Third and nine on top of it as well. I thought it was a screen. Burns pushes. Get up there. No, Damian Harris is a god. He's actually the greatest player in NFL history. It's not an overstatement. It's an understatement. He's the greatest athlete in sports history. Oh, Stearns. One-on-one -on -one Woolen. Oh, my. Did you see some of the blocks they're putting up here? This is crazy. We're going to come with the blitz. I mean, they've got insane. I mean, absolutely insane receivers as well. With Russell Wilson, we can't stop the run. Like, What are we supposed to do? Huge hit by Tyndall. That should be a third and four. We've got the three wide receivers. I mean, you literally kind of have to back up for the run, or the, the pass anyways, not the run. Oh, Jordan. Nice hit, Tyndall. Tyndall's got to force one, dude. I don't care. Somebody's got to force one. They're 7-for-7. Seven seven. We're not getting in there on the D-line. And Jordan Davis is trying there, but just couldn't get there in time. Bringing the blitz. I can't run commit just in case. And that's an amazing play by Stearns. Who else? Who else, man? There's certain guys on this team that just make plays game after game and they're just so massive of plays too uh oh Ooh, good job Nisraldine. Tyson Anderson kind of got blocked up by the fullback 
I don't care if it's three wide receivers, dude. You got to just bring the heat. I don't want to leave the running back open. We're going to... Yeah, we're not going to cover. Ah, get... Oh, Woods with his second touchdown of the day. That wasn't terrible defense, though. That was really close. Like, Jefferson across the middle got uh, covered pretty well. Man, they're just moving at will on us. The fact that we threw a pick, I mean, unless the time works out pretty well, I mean, breaking an NFL record for points scored, maybe? And I don't mean complete, you know, total team. I mean them. Oh, nice little move by Darden. I maybe could have cut it left, but I just felt like there was a big opening up the middle. Inside handoff from the 27. Trying to make a move. Nice. And then guess who? Derek Brown. We look like we're maybe going to slip it forward for a couple of yards, and he just grabs us and brings us back. It's like a overprotective mother bringing us back to the womb there. That was crazy. And there goes... I don't know what just happened. I, I cannot explain what just happened. I don't know if that's Claypool's fault. I don't know if that's Kellen Mond's fault. But that should be a completion. What is this? We even go low with it just to try and make sure it doesn't get picked. What is this? He's in front. Does he? That has to be Claypool's fault because he stopped. But then again, I can't tell if the throw was behind him. I don't know. I don't know what that was. I just I can't explain it. Good tackle by Drake. 16 rushes. Hello. What the hell? 16. Oh, Tyndall, and then, of course, even with... What? What? We've lost. we have It's not even halftime, and we've lost. I don't know what's happening here. It, what? What is going on? We should have kept our own first-round pick. The first one I, we can take credit for, right? It was a 50-50 ball. wasn't super open, but, you know, we had a chance to maybe get it in there. That last one, that is... The, I don't know what that was. Kellen Mond and Claypool just aren't meant to be. I just, like, I don't understand what that was. And that's a tough one. There you go, Cole Turner, about 15 yards. I'm not going to say it's over. I'm not going to say we have a chance. I'm just going to, we're just going to go out and play football. This is really all you can do. 2-2 two -two Atwell underneath. Nice little move to gain about 12. With the way they play offense, I almost feel like we should slow it down a bit and just try our best to make this the last drive. And that's just terrible blocking, dude. Like, that's just awful. Isn't that Will's side as well? Like, come on, man. We brought you in for a reason. That's literally pass interference. There you go, Hawkins. Gains about 10. Not only does the man catch it in traffic, but he also ends up making the freaking slip off. Third and inches, we got to get the blocks. We actually got blocked up by our own guy. Good job by uh, Hawkins to slip off again. Only five for seven, but... Once again, he's, uh, when he actually gets blocks, like, you know, or time to make a play, aka the, uh, the receiving game, he does all right. And that's, I mean, that's just tough. Tried to, try to step up, but, you know, there's check down enabled. Home team has. <laughs> you came to the wrong team for that ability. I'll tell you what, we don't see anyone deep anyways. What the hell? Yeah, that's just easily going to be dropped. That's had a crazy play by number 34, who once again, I assume, is Malcolm Jenkins. Comeback route. You do have Cole Turner. And Sky Moore. I think he's short. Fourth and inch. I mean, you have to go for this. By the way, in what world is 10 yards deep? If we don't block this up. Ooh. We just got ice by the two-minute warning. You got to be joking. I mean, this should be... I'm double-teaming the primary here. This should be easy clap. You've got to be freaking joking me. GG. We double-teamed their lesser talent, and he stood his ground. It's bad on me. It's bad on them. Nothing's going our way. Just make a play, please. We can't even break it. There's freaking... Oh, my... Is he going to throw an incompletion today? Probably not. Probably not, right? This is just a disgusting act, honestly. Like, Randy Moss is here. Like, what's going on? 
Oh my. No incompletions to be seen. I mean, I think we get ball at half. I don't think it matters. Screen pass. <gasps> Togi, I, I love the attempt, but bro, improve the hands. I need, I need that. I needed that. I absolutely, we needed that so bad. I knew it, dude. Huge hit, no fumble. Oh, I tried to turn around, couldn't get it in time. I mean, that's so much time to have to cover, though. We should have came with mid on that. Togi, I had a chance of the pick. I mean, that's a lot to ask for, but still. Russell threw it right at his hands. And that's another touchdown based on us reaching on a curl route. Holy crap, I'm getting mad. I mean, I could just never be a coach in this situation. I, I would bring out the chainsaw and just start mowing people down. Like, Thank you, Cole Turner. I mean, at this point, you pretty much have to score on this drive. Like, Please, Mond. Throw it away. <laughs> we got more time to throw it away than I would have expected, to be honest. Sky Moore. He's freaking Darius Slay, though. What's that? Is that why? Damn it, dude. How is that downfield? What, what is their abilities? What are their abilities? What are their, what are they? Home team quarterback has trouble seeing deeper. How is that deeper? It's like a five yard route. <laughs> what? Leave me be, please. That's a 28-yard penalty, baby. We are getting smattered by a 3-5 and five team right now. It just proves, like, what happens when we don't play perfectly. Like, this is nuts, dude. We're getting killed. Come on, Burns. I, we sold. We sold. We, we literally sold. We had the speed rush off the edge. We sold. Thankfully, their coaching staff sold. Nah, dude, I'm not looking at any of this. I suppose I did need to stop their inside run. I mean, obviously, they're killing us in the past game now, but it was all set up by the fact that we just couldn't stop the, the run. Down by 28. I mean... No, we almost set up a wall there, but it didn't really work out. I mean, we're just getting killed on every phase. It wouldn't surprise me if we had a, a field goal from 30-something yards and we missed it because we were just getting smoked. And there's just nobody open. I mean, Cole Turner maybe got open at the end there, but, like, I don't have the time to throw it, you know? Because, like, that's a 45-hour route you just ran, like, you know? 2-2 two, two out well. I mean, we lit it. Just. All right. And Peter, you've got to be joking me. Russell just threw a pick six and Peterson dropped it. Like, what's his catching rating? Like, a thousand? And he drops that? That's actually absurd. We almost just got, like, a break. Maybe, you know, a chance to maybe come back into this game, make a play. And nobody, I mean, I get it's kind of our fault. I get it. But there's a guy covering him. We're, we're literally, we're, we're technically flipped. We're covering each other's routes. And he's like, I'm leaving that. I'm helping you. It's like, bro. Run commit, I guess. It's going to be a run. Still gains a yard or two. The fumble is one thing with 2-2 two, two Atwell, but the drop pick six, I mean, that's 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 game over. Like, It's just destined. And Jordan Davis gets stop. Well, you make the stop. I'm sure 38 is uh, definitely more doable than 42, right? Another run commit. Can we get a hit stick fumble? I mean, we stop them, and it's not really much. And they're trying to put us away. They're trying to put us away. I respect it. And we miss. But Tyson Anderson gets enough. No, shut up. No one cares. Under center. They're actually kind of giving us an out. Yeah, let's run a counter here. Can I just run something? Thank you. I just want something up the middle. Probably wouldn't even get out anyways. Oh, I needed the block there. Who's that? Claypool? We had had a touchdown, maybe. Good maneuvering. Good maneuvering. We got enough room. We got to start moving. There's no There's no choice about it. Eboa. 
Just going to go for the possession. Sky Moore. Missed the throw. Good job. You know, I saw their personnel. I was like, they're probably still running too heavy because they're trying to stop the run at the goal line. But, you know, who cares? <laughs> Looking for a quick throw to Cole Turner here. I mean, you got to... Got to get that throw there. It's Edmonds. Wait, do they have Edmonds? I thought they had... Well, that changes a lot in my eyes. I'll tell you what. It's 2-2 Atwell, who's... You know, wow, really good job, Cole Turner. That block was beautiful. It was like you weren't even there. That's how like slippery you were. Go to curl route from Turner. Please hit this. Wow! What? He absolutely caught that. I'm challenging this. I was watching the feet the whole way. He, he caught that, unless he bobbled it at the end. If he misses that catch, I i mean, it's too late. He's, we're past the trade deadline, but, like, he's hes an actual trash can. He actually missed the left foot. No shot. I can't tell from that angle. It's like his leg is hovering. They're going to give it to us. I, I thought it was in. Oh, yeah, easily in. What is this? Trash cans. To be fair, winning one game with this team is coach of the year status. And, oh, Hawkins. Nice. We got out of there barely. Thought we were going to get picked off by a D-lineman, to be honest. Sorry, Skymore. You're just going against a guy that's just too good. Cole Turner. I want a block. I just want a block from someone. That's all I ask. I had the running back. Throw to it. It's just really hard to believe in, you know, people getting open. We're running. We don't care. Touchdown, Mon. There you go. I was about to say, we don't care. We're running. I'm not going down. At least we showed we have a little bit of fight. There's still a chance. It's just uh, unbelievably low. I mean, that's about as good as you could do. Melifon, we would have gotten an insta-raise in real life. I mean, that's just insane. To still be covering, like, down, you know, there's a couple of openings there. Still be covering those. And contain the quarterback is just is impressive. It's got a bit of speed there. Ooh, he throws it away. I mean, like I said, I think we've dug ourselves a hole that's just a little too large, but we're absolutely not going to be telling anyone that. Wolin! And that's a GG. We've lost. Wow. I mean, what can you do? What can you, Honestly, what can you do? Wolin's gotten beat for three or four touchdowns now. I mean, what can you do? He's in position. He's he's literally a monster in size. What do you do there? I mean, that was the play. That was absolutely the play that was going to, you know, we're going to stop him. We're going to get the ball back. There's nobody on the running back. And nobody blocks up. There you go, Hawkins. Nice little run. Right up to the line. I don't know what they're doing on that. I don't know. They're just trying to go for an NFL record here. But, like, why would you blitz us? We had so many people open. Hawkins is like, you idiot, why didn't you throw it sooner? Uh, we had a lot of people open across the field. I just kind of rolled out for some reason. Not really the smartest play in the world, but it was my play. We'll say nobody covers 2-2 two -two on those. He's going to score. I mean, I don't know what's going on here. I don't know what they're doing on defense. Like, don't get me wrong. It's very frustrating on our side, but I get why we're not doing well because we're just, I mean, we're outmanned, right? We're, we're out-talented. But on their side, they're just making dumb calls. I mean, contain. Wow, that's a really good play by Melifon, who's having himself an afternoon right now. feel bad for Woolen, though, because he hasn't been playing badly. He's just barely missing out on some really important plays. And there's Melifon again. Got the hook shading. Oh! Who was that? Is that Patrick Peterson? Are you stupid? What is he doing? No, it wasn't Patrick. It was it was Stearns. What is Stearns doing here? What are you doing? You're not supposed to blitz. What is he doing? And that's another touchdown. 
I mean, we're forced to come down, and we just, like, there's nothing we can do. I don't know what to tell you about this matchup. This has just been weird. I, I don't even know. Pitch to the right. We are going to get out there. It's not bad, actually. It's a really late hit. I don't know what, where's the refs. Literally out of bounds for months, and they, they let him just tackle us. Good job. It's a really good play by uh, Edmonds. Coverage guru. To do that well, Sky Moore maybe. I'm actually going to sell Claypool to try and bring that safety down. That is an insane try though. All right, I never run it this side. I usually run it the other way. It's a pretty bad throw to be honest, but kind of just zipped it in there quickly. I mean, the yardage total is going to look pretty sick, but... Not the scoreboard, not the win column. And that's going to be picked off. Jesus. The pressure is just crazy, man. We miss. Jesus Christmas. What a disaster. I mean, this has just been awful. It's just like you have to do so much to try to climb into a game where you're, you've given up 30-some points, you know? 35 points in the first half. I mean, what can you do? Like, Claypool just isn't good. He's literally the worst receiver we've got, it seems, which makes no sense. Because like, you can make the argument, oh, he's the number one wide receiver, but he doesn't play against the number one corner. You know, it's it's always Sky Moore playing against the number one corner. That little squiggle is pretty clutch, actually. And then he dives in. I mean, I would just start fighting people. I would actually start throwing fists if I seen a guy dive into the end zone when they're already up 49 to 21. I mean, where are the blocks, guys? I mean, Kelamon's only thrown three picks this game? I'm shocked. I mean, almost every play might as well be a screen, it seems, because that's the way the blocking lines up anyways. Claypool going against... I mean, they are. They do have good corners, but I mean, there's like almost no separation on that play. It's crazy. Like, I had Sky... Thought he didn't catch that. Had Sky more off the snap, but I would have had to wait a little bit longer because there was a little bit of a press in there. That is a dot. Really thought Slay was going to go up and get that, to be honest. <laughs> I was not feeling great about it when it was coming up there. I had the tight end. I just wanted more, to be honest. And I didn't mean it by that. I didn't mean Sky more. I just wanted more yards. What a play. That was actually kind of beautiful. That was nice. I don't know what this is from Sky, uh, from Clay Pool. Almost just called him Clay Moore. That's a late read. It's a good try by Moore though. Super late read. Should not be throwing that. Could be bringing the linebackers. Yibo could be walking. That's a terrible throw. I know we should have probably went to the tight end anyways, but that is an easy first down, maybe touchdown if he just hits the throw. That was just like right in front of him. 87 short throw. And how is Slay... How is Slay doing that? How? He's got to cover the flat. And he's still cover... I don't know, dude. I'm just going to hike it. I don't even care. And I just get insta-block... I mean, good blocks, guys. We had the running back blocking as well, and it's just its useless. Look at this. They scored, like, some massive 65-yard rushing touchdown as well. I mean, look at this, dude. GG, I'm out of there. I'm out of there. 63-21, to 21, was it? I mean, offense wasn't, like, the worst ever. It wasn't great, obviously, but the defense got smoked. We made Russell Wilson a god. Patrick Peterson with the drop pick on top of it, which is just so disappointing. Because that could have gotten us back into the game, perhaps. I think it would have cut it to a, a two or a three touchdown deficit. But without that, I mean, it just ended up becoming a four and a five point. I mean, it was just, you know, possession. It was just too much. That is a huge L. Three and five. I know the Vikings are three and five, and they're not super... Eight passing touchdowns. He broke an NFL record. He threw eight passing touchdowns, 21 for 24, 87 completion percentage. How did we win any games this season 
when you have those kind of numbers existing. Don't get me wrong. There was some curl routes, specifically with Jefferson, where we, we try to jump down on it. We miss, and it was like a 60, 70-yard touchdown. But really, eight passing touchdowns, zero interceptions. You can't win a game if you throw You know, I don't know if you guys knew this or not. It might be, uh, you know, it's something that nobody really brings up. But you can't win games if you give up eight passing touchdowns. It's... Uh, it's a forgotten analytic, but it's it's a very important one. You just can't win games when you give up that many. Of course, Caden Stearns will go to star dev, but, I mean, even with 20k XP, it's still kind of like, you know, who cares? Because we just got destroyed by, uh, like, 40 points and gave up an NFL record. Wonder who player of the week is going to be this week. Of course, uh, Caden Stearns does have a lot of upgrade points. Let's just get that zone coverage up. Get somebody with some coverage, maybe. Zero zone coverage on a zone coverage upgrade. Love it. Plus two. We'll take it. 76 overall now. No zone coverage again. Four upgrades on the zone coverage slot. And we come up with four zone coverage only. At a 72, 73 overall at the time. That's pretty, uh, pretty rough. I don't know. That's going to be the worst loss of the series. It has to be. Like, there's just no way we can... I mean... Can't wait for the... I don't even remember where we got Wills from, but... Can't wait for the Panthers to turn their season around and us not to. It's going to be fantastic. Also, Nisraldine, I thought, was older than this. I guess not. We're going to grab him for a four-year 11. Uh, is there, like, Cole Turner or anything in here? No. guess that wouldn't make any sense. Regardless, that's going to be the game. I mean, that is just the worst game of all time i mean that's just literally just the most dominance i've ever seen it's just brutal brutal i don't know what we can do i mean i haven't changed the sliders in you know the ai's favor at all since the starting of this you know this is what our sliders are looking like uh you know there's nothing that i'm seeing on our our end that like you know i, I don't see what would really be i get it's all madden but you know, we don't have any sliders that are crazy in their favor. I don't know. Maybe drop their pass block by one or two. I mean, we don't have the greatest pass rush in the world, but I suppose Brian Burns should be doing better than he is. I don't know. But regardless, if you guys enjoyed, maybe leave a like. Maybe subscribe for new. We do a ton of franchise stuff. I still enjoy the games when they're a challenge, but that was another level. <laughs> uh, maybe uh, follow me on Twitter, channel Pierre. Second channel, Pierre Plays. And that's pretty much it. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. Hopefully you guys come back for the next video. But until the next video, see ya!